So the Glenn Farkless Handicap Chase is next in on this. I'm pretty sure he's over the cross country course. I had the Velka Pada Beaker last week. And uh, no ploughed fields this time, but something similar. And the top one is Rockin' Robin for Pontypool Racing. Float your goat, Leon Van Rinsberg. Sunny side up, Paul Rhodes. Kisses of fire, Darren Thompson. Under pressure, Kevin Meenahan. Army of stars, Obi Wan. Kiki Rosberg, Gems Follis. Sabrina Duncan, Martin Leadham. Last suspect, Kevin Meenahan. High figurine, Obi Wan. Obligato, Tam King. Old Gate Cat and Ellis Richard, both from the Carl Aragante stables in Norway. And 13 of the men to go around this unique course. We have a little bit of a fly round. Let's hope the leading jockey knows the way. And a bit of a pointer for the similar race at Cheltenham. And if anybody saw the trial races that we had earlier in the season, Stu ran one on this track and didn't realise that there wasn't a four and a half furlong start. And they all went backwards for the first four furlongs. I mean, it was pretty funny. Anyway, the first fence, they're all over it. And pretty short run it was as well. They're all over it safely though. And they sorted themselves out and getting down towards the second. They've got 33 to take all together in this. So there's plenty of jumping and some different types of obstacles as well and it's the two Norwegian Raiders that take them over the second in the lead. So Holdgate Cat and Ellis Rich. I'm going to have some difficulty telling those two apart aren't I? But uh, last suspect is back in third. Oh, the winner of the Grand National event. Was it 84? 585 I think wasn't it? Yeah. So Oldgate Cat in the lead. Then Ellis Rich is second. Last suspect is third. I don't remember Float Your Goat ever winning anything particularly big but Leon might know different. And Oldgate Cat is the leader then coming down to this next one. And then all over that one, okay. Good jumpers in this race. Old Gate Cat in front. Might be a few Grand National horses as well. There's plenty of long distance races this week, so be too many too big fields in the in the distance races. There's quite a few of them as they come to this next one. And the leader didn't jump in all that well, Old Gate Cat. But still leads from last suspect and Ellis Rich. There the leading three. A little bit of a gap then. Back to Obligato, who's in fourth. The one that made a mistake at the back was Kisses of Fire. It's Old Gate Cat, last suspect in Lewis Rich from Obligato. Then Sabrina Duncan is close, but again the leader went right through the top of that one. And we've lost one at the back, Keki Rosberg. So, pretty sure Keki Rosberg might have won a, might have won a one of the big races last week. It may have won that Velka Pada Bika. Certainly um, from the same stable, I think. Anyway, down to the next end, which is a big hurdle. And it just shows you never know what's going to happen in this game. And the Carla Agante pair are back in the lead again. It's Old Goat Cat who's been taking liberties with the fences, who's in from Ellis Rich's second, then Last Suspect, then Obligato, Sabrina Duncan and Under Pressure, Float Your Goats after that one, then Rockin' Robin, with Sunny Side Up and the two in the yellow, High Figurine and Army of Stars, and finally Kisses of Fire is the back marker, looks like we might be about to go jockey camming, and indeed we are, and we're on High Figurine at the moment, so to keep her on the corner of the screen to see if anything happens in the race and it looks like everybody's still standing as we get the view from the back of high figurine and you can see pretty tight to the wing of the fence there all got over it okay looks like Sabrina Duncan and Float Your Goat in front and we're going to have Army of Stars and Kisses of Fire the one that's just behind the one that's really close so the one we're on is sunny side up as they come up this bank and up it we go and down the other side and oh goodness that was a bit interesting as we're back to a normal view now then and oh we've been gone it doesn't appear to be much change in the order except that old gate cat and ellis rich the two for carl arrogance are in first and second and now kevin minahan has gone third and fourth with last suspect and under pressure Obligato the greys after that one, then float your goats, Sabrina Duncan in the orange, then Rockin' Robin, sunny side up, high figurine, and you've just been on the back of an army of stars, and finally kisses of fire as they go up that bank again, and then quickly they'll go down the other side, and there's a stand in the distance, and now we're on top of the stand, and we've only lost one so far, and we're pretty much halfway in the jumping stakes, and old gate cat. The last suspect now splitting the Arrogante pair goes into second. And Ellis Rich has dropped back into third. And under pressure, Obligato is after that. And then Sabrina Duncan. And Float Your Goat. Sunny side up is next as they take number 17. And we'll jump in that one okay as well. It's the unfortunate Keki Rosberg who's bowed out of the race so far. And Old Gate Cat has done his best to get himself out of the race on a couple of occasions. But the jockeys remain firmly in the plate leads by a length to last suspect in second Ellis Rich is third and they're up and down the bank again and over that one they all go and everybody 
bodies over that one. Okay. So less than two miles to race now then. Still plenty of jumping to do though, and Old Gate Cat's in front. Last suspect is second, Ellis Rich is third, Sabrina Duncan is fourth, Floaty Goat is five, Nobly Gato is six, then Under Pressure is seven, and Rock and Robin is eight, and Sonny's Old Up is nine, and then Army of Stars as they take the 20th. And all over that one they go. Kisses of Fire and High Figurine are towards the back. High Figurine, now the tail end, Charlie. But it's Old Gate Cat who is in front. Over the 21st they go. All safely over that one, Old Gate Cat in front. Last suspect is second. Ellis Rich is third. Over the next one, they're all safely over that one as well. And High Figurine has been pulled up at the back. Old Gate Cat continues to lead from last suspect in second. Then Ellis Rich, Float Your Goat, Obligato and Sabrina Duncan. Then Under Pressure, Army of Stars, Rockin' Robin, Sunnyside Up and Kisses of Fire. As they skip across the water. All over that one. With the order pretty much the same as it has been throughout. Although Under Pressure has just dropped back a little bit into mid division as they come to this next big one and we lose them behind the screen for a second. They all got over it okay. Past the bank, bank this time. Now they'll swing left handed and go down towards the next. With Old Gate Cat and Last Suspect, Ellis Rich is third. Float Your Goat is fourth, Omnigato is five. And Sabrina Duncan who jumped that one in sixth place. With Under Pressure, Rocking Robin, Army of Stars, Sunny Side Ups drop back a little bit and Kisses of Fire is the back marker. Just a mile left then. This is the 26th of the 33. All over that one, okay. The old gate cattle into the good. Last suspected on this rich. Jumping it well. Sunny side up is struggling towards the back as well. A funny season for Paul Rhodes. He's had quite a lot of winners, but he's also had one or two horses that have run a very on roads like. An old gate cat is the leader. From last suspect in second, Ellis Rich and Obligato. It'll gap then back to Sabrina Duncan and Float Your Goat. Robin, Robin, Robin's trying to get a little bit closer as they take the next end. Oh, we've lost something there. Float Your Goat's gone, so Float Your Goat's been sunk. So last suspect is coming to challenge for the lead. Old Gay Cats as they take the next in Obligato. Sabrina Duncan's making a forward move. The one that's really been to run again now is under pressure as they take the 30th. And it's still Old Gay Cat. Last us with the field really beginning to bunch there then now over that one. And it's a wide open race. And Sunny Side Up is coming into it now as well. They've got three and a half furlongs to go. And you couldn't pick the winner from here, I don't think. Last suspect is going on though now from Army of Stars and Old Gate Cat. Then comes under pressure. Sabrina Duncan, Obligato. Sunny Side Up's getting closer. Rocky Robin is next. Ellis Rich and Kisses of Fire are probably the only two that are out of it as they come down towards the second last in this Glen Farkless cross-country chase and last suspect on the inside of Army of Stars. Army of Stars looking at big danger on the outside. Sunny Side Up's going to make a forward move as well as they take the second last and over that one they go and they're all over it okay but it's Army of Stars in the lead. This is the final fence, it comes up pretty quickly over it, they go Army of Stars lands in the lead, but so the last suspect gets away from it better, it's last suspect from Army of Stars, Army of Stars is battling battle inside the final furlong, it's Army of Stars, last suspect, hard to split the two of them, between these surely, under pressure is trying to get into it, but it's just last suspect on the inside, Army of Stars on the outside, it's all going to do with the angle, it's going to be close as they come towards the line, but it looks like last suspect is just beginning to assert, and last suspect takes it, Army of Stars is second, under pressure is third, soon side up for the Ellis Rich and Kisses of Flowers after that one, field will trail back, to possibly Rockin' Robin might have been last, I'm not sure. Difficult to tell. But it's a 1 3 for Kevin Meenan with his 1985 Grand National winner. Taking it well. Lots of interesting runs on some of the horses in that race. And it was last suspect for Kevin Meanhan first. Army of Stars for Obi Wan second. Under pressure, Kevin Meanhan third. Sunny side up, Paul Rhodes was fourth. And Ellis Rich for Carnaragante was fifth.